On the other side, Steve Smith. And on the sideline, David Aldridge. I'm Kevin Harlan. It's Chicago and Indiana. Taking a look at Indiana. They're facing elimination, and the fans in this building know that this could be their last game of the year without a tremendous effort. Yeah, let's not kid ourselves. Things are looking bleak right now. There's no doubt about that. But the home fans are behind us. They've just got to focus on winning this game and then take it from there. And we've got time for a quick pregame report. With that being said, let's head to the sideline and our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, D.A. Thank you, David. And it's going to be the Pacers off the tip. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. Short, he's in a shooting guard. Maurice Spates out there with Patrick Patterson. And there's Jimmy Butler. And it's Rondo in at the point guard position. Chicago shooting their first free throws of the game. And the first one drops. And he makes both free throws. In terms of big man, he is certainly one of the better free throw shooters in this league. Stuckey against Jordan. Stuckey dishes to Turner. Turner with a screen for Jackson. A floater. He takes it up and lays it in. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Now the Bulls with it. It was a big win for them coming off Tuesday's match. And you know what? It, sometimes it's hard to say whether or not defensively you were on your game. But bottom line is their opponent didn't shoot it well. And you got to take some of the credit from a defensive standpoint. They really played exhausting D out there, just hounding them all night long. Now here's Jordan following the shot by Kevin Durant. Rondo wide open and the three off target. Had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. And Durant gets it to go. With his size and touch, Durant has all the tools to hurt you around the rim. Butler in the corner. Back to Jordan. And a hard slam there from Prez to finish off the play. And that's the that athleticism you, that had him so you. highly touted coming into the league. Down low, here's Stuckey. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. Stuckey's got his first bucket of the night. The Bulls have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Jordan, and the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. And he's got his first chance at the line here. gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Rodney Stuckey on the wing guarded by Jordan and stolen by Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. Whoa, quick hands <laughs> on the steal and then just mad hops on the slam. Great sequence for them defensively and offensively. Terrific defensive instincts to come away with that one. And he showed no hesitation in how he completed that transition opportunity. To the middle, stolen by Durant and stolen by Patterson. Two points, that one goes. Patterson is so active and efficient with his movements inside. Pacers trail by five. Outside Jackson. Outside George. Back to Jackson. Turner with the screen. Jackson kicks to George. Five to shoot. And there's the foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. That's his first foul. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Tyson Chandler, he's checked in for Turner. Young comes in for Kevin Durant. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for George. Oh! oh! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! And with that speed, once he took off, the D just had no chance of getting back. And why waste all that energy? No one was going to catch him. Oh, that was a great angle we just saw, courtesy of Kia. Screened by Young. Jackson kicks to Young. 
count that bucket. Young's got his first bucket in this one. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. It's something they better correct quickly because he'll start running wild if they don't defend him any tougher than that. From deep, good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Chicago leading. Outside Jordan. Wade passes to Jordan. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And the Bulls making a change here. France checked in. The Bulls have gone three for three at the line tonight. For Indiana, they've gone five of seven today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Outside Jackson to the inside. From deep, Miles. Good on the three-point shot. Miles has got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Pacers. And they can't allow him too many open looks like that. that that's just inviting trouble. And the dunk by Jordan. Really like that work there in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. Pacers trail by four. Right wing. Here's Miles. And it's good. Pop through good. contact. It's good. the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. One shot. It's like everybody is in a rhythm right now. Incredible stuff here early on. The fans have to love this. Not so much for coaching staffs who are dying to see a little bit of defense to start. And then Jordan slams it in. Nice read by Dwayne Wade. Beautiful. Outside Jackson. Chandler a screen. Jackson kicks to Jones. Fires the three. Miracic grabs the miss. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. Tries again. And the layup is up and in. Jordan's got 18 points in the game. He has a nose for the glass and a sixth sense in terms of how to read the angles. Here's Jackson. And no good trying to get that one. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. Bulls out front, leading by five. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Indianapolis. And power forward, Patrick. You know, I think my three years at Kentucky, you know, caused what I am now. Patterson Clark, exactly the guy he says he is, and that's why he's one of those glue guys you've got to have on your team. And the kind of guy who his teammates love because they know he's always going to have their back, always going to work hard, and, and always going to bring it. And we welcome you back to the Eastern Conference Finals here on 2K Sports. Looking at what we've seen from the Bulls, what do you guys think? I, I just think that from an intensity standpoint, their defense has really been the key. It's been the catalyst as they've been able to disrupt their opponent's offense. They've been all over them. They are making things extremely difficult for their opponents so far. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Taking a look at the Bulls. Short in its shooting guard. Jimmy Butler is out there with Portis. Then there's Grant, and it's Withy in at the center. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Mr. Incredible in their last matchup against the Pacers really contributed. He scored 20 points and did his work from both lines, hitting from beyond the arc and from the foul line. That game was just the latest example of how hot he's been. We'll see if anyone can cool him down tonight, Kevin. All right, David, thank you so much. He couldn't have been much better in that game, could he, GM? Not at all. He was great. I mean, that's for sure. If he wasn't at his best, he was awfully close. You know what, guys? I think he can even do better. I think he has another gear to get to. So one for two that time at the strike. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Good work there as it goes. 
Portis has got his first points in this one. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Right side Durant, the 17-footer. The shot, no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. The drive by Jordan. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Stolen by Withy. Jordan inside. Was guarded by Stuckey. I mean, maybe could have tried for a Pardon? more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. So timeout called here, the first for Indiana. Clearly, he's not pleased with all. I like what I see out there, fellas. We're playing like we want it more than them. Remember, you're my Pippen and you're my Jordan. Finish this game like they would. I'm out. Rajon Rondo's checked in for Jaron Grant. Pacers trail by 11. And Chalmers kicks to Durant. Fades away. And that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. Maybe the most deadly mid-range score in the league. Kevin Durant, one of the few players who can live off those if he wanted to. Butler dishes to Jordan. No good that time. So Indiana will take it the other way. George passes to Stuckey. Outside Durant, Indiana moving it around. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Indiana shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. First one falls for him. That one misses. Chicago leading by eight. The drive by Jordan. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Jordan's got four points this quarter. Pacers have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. And Chalmers kicks to Durant. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played, the pass to Stuckey. And the Pacers can't get it to go. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Feeds to George. Turner with the screen. Stuckey for three, and once again off the mark by Indiana. Here's Jordan. Excellent D there from Jordan. It has not been an easy quarter for him offensively, but I like that he's staying aggressive. Stuckey outside, lots of room. And that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. Hey, way to put the squeeze on him, guys. Bring it in, let's talk. I love the energy, fellas. I really do. But now we got to keep it up and stay focused. Just keep squeezing that orange juice, gentlemen. Favor. So an entirely new game. And we're through the first half of basketball here and what's been a good one. Bulls lead by four. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kevin. Good battle going on tonight. What has been the approach? Well, we're just trying to pack the paint. Those guys are great. So we're just trying to make them see a few guys, get some deflections, and get some of my easy baskets. Bring it in. We have not won this game yet. We're letting one guy. And we return to Indianapolis, Indiana with a look at all the activity taking place in this terrific downtown. Welcome back to game four as we get ready to start things up again. And Mr. Incredible has been sensational. Yeah, he was in attack mode from the word go. Came out very aggressively in that first half. He knew he could have his way with this team and so far he's dominated them. George and Young are the forwards. Jackson is out there with Rodney Stuckey, and it's Turner in at the center position. So that's the group out there for Indiana. George, no good. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. 
You know, in this new era of basketball, stretching the floor is critical, and Jimmy Butler has really knocked down that three shot. Patterson against Jackson. That one good for two. Jackson's got his second basket of the game. Terrific effort on that shot. I mean, he's given up a lot of inches in that mismatch. And that's where his great body control and positioning came into play. He knows how to avoid getting his shot blocked. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Three-pointer, Butler. Rodney Stuckey pulls it in. After hitting three straight, they finally miss one. But you can see the rhythm coming out of the half. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Turner with a screen on run. It's Jackson with the drive. Rondo with the steal. Here's Jordan, and Jordan slams it home. Whoa, quick hands <laughs> on the steal, and then just mad hops on the slam. Great sequence for them defensively and offensively. Terrific defensive instincts to come away with that one, and he showed no hesitation in how he completed that transition opportunity. That key of slam cam replay really gave you a good look at the action. He saw his teammate had good position inside and hit him with a flawless pass. Here's Stuckey. And another shot, and it's blocked by Jordan. From 18 feet away, the rebound by Turner. I like that shot for him, though. Very little defensive pressure. He typically rises up and buries that. They set the screen. Back to Young. And Young slams it home. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. Butler dishes to Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. That's great court vision by Jimmy Butler. Really seeing the court well. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Jackson with it. Turner with the screen. Jackson kicks to George. Will not go. This is off the front eye. The Bulls leading by 10. And it's Rondo in the corner. Outside Butler. He dishes it to Jordan. In the corner, it's Patterson. Back to Jordan. Six to shoot. He feeds it to Spates. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Spates has got five. Oh, great ball movement there. Timeout, timeout. Started. Great job, guys. Nice work. Take a seat now. Let's talk. Listen up. We have these guys back on their heels. And now they're playing like they're desperate. Remember, you're my Pippen and you're my Jordan. Finish this game like they will. Some changes for Indiana. Chandler comes in for Miles Turner. And Chicago shooting has been just great so far, up at 56%. On the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. Jordan in a two-guard. Patrick Patterson is out there with Maurice Spates. Then there's Jimmy Butler. And it's Wade in at the point. Turner against Patterson. Outside, George. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Chicago leading by 10. The shot by Butler, nobody around. And a miss there on the triple. And uh, Indiana shooting at 50% in a decent group. And George kicks to Jackson. Down low, Turner. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. That free throw, good from Turner. The Pacers making a switch here. Stuckey's checked in, and a change for the Bulls. Ajan Rondo is checked in for Dwayne Wade. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. And it's Jordan with the jam. He has taken it upon himself to score the ball as much as possible for his team. He's not looking to pass it right now.
drill good, Jordan. It's too easy out here. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. George sets a screen for Jackson. Chandler a screen. George with no one around. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Jackson's got his fifth assist in this one. Chicago leading by eight. Here's Patterson. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the That's shot. Good. One free throw coming his way. Patterson Three showing one. some great sense of timing to get the score inside. Indiana's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Stucky against Jordan. Here's Jackson. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. Here's Rondo. Outside Butler. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. And it's sent back by Turner. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Turner. Chicago has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Shot clock at 6. It's taken away by Stuckey. Now the Pacers moving it up. And he was Come on the way up. Two We're free throws now for him. Up, I mean, even from over here, you could see that one pretty clearly. And he can't get the first one. So he comes up empty at the line. The Bulls leading by eight. Here's Jordan. Banked in off the glass. Jordan's got 33. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. The Pacers have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Outside, George. Pass to Jackson. Inside, here's Stuckey. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got six assists here tonight. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Here's Jordan. Oh. <laughs> Rondo is out there to distribute the ball. He is a master at finding the open man. Way to work, gentlemen. Let's go now. Hustle up. Hey, this is what happens when we put a few improvements to how things are going on right now. You know what? You constantly have to be making adjustments in this league if you want to stay on your game. The Pacers making a switch here. Young's checked in. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, the head coach of the Pacers talked to his team during the timeout. He wants to change it up defensively and get more people packed into the paint. He said they're beating us up down low. We have to put a stop to it. Let's see if they respond, Kevin. Thank you, David. And it's Jordan with the jam. He has really come into this second half on an absolute tear. Really impressive effort from him so far. Jordan against Ducky. It's tipped and stolen by Jordan. Look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Can he keep it going? It's Chicago with another bucket. You know, Jimmy Butler's drawn a lot of attention. Now the next thing for him to do, just pass it to the open guy. Here's Jackson outside. George. It's all in by the Bulls. Jordan's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And it's Rodney Stuckey with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, that's a tough call right there, and, and really a tough break for the D. The drive by Jordan. Patterson with it. Picked up by Turner. And just not much more you can say, guys. It's the end of the line for one team and a hard-fought, well-deserved trip to the NBA Finals for the Bulls. Great, generous, bold movement tonight. A thing of beauty. 
Yeah, a remarkable team effort. They got everyone involved. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Jordan. It was a phenomenal job. He did of finding his ideal rhythm at the offensive end and never letting the defense take him out of it. Once he got into that flow, the points came in a steady stream. Catching up on the changes now for Indiana. Tyson Chandler, he's checked in for Turner. C.J. Miles comes in for George. Grant, he's checked in for Rodney Stuckey. And it's Chalmers in for Jackson. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Jordan, the pass to Portis. Back to Jordan. Out left to the wing. Portis kicks to Jordan. Clock at six. Let's it go with a three. Second shot opportunity and foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Free throw good, Jordan. And so Jordan nails both it's of them. too easy out here. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now Grant. The Chicago Bulls will move on. And you can see the elation on their faces. Not just happiness, but pure excitement to be headed to the NBA Finals. A tremendous opportunity now. Just four wins away from a championship. Yeah, yeah and, and so close. I mean, they can practically taste it right now. But, but it's not going to be easy. Those next four wins are going to be the most difficult of the season if they can get them. But no matter what happens, I think the accomplishment of winning the conference championship is something this franchise and its fans will always remember. And they'll represent the East in a final series that's mere days away. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.